Why, hello there, viewers. We are here with some more Pokemon Sword. Are you ready? We are in the middle of the seventh gym trial, I think, and Marnie and Team Yell are just kind of sitting here. Shut your gob! Whoa. Oh, Seeker. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, a lot of Spike Melts. Uh, the lot from Spike Mouth telling me they locked the city from, down for my sake. <laughs> Spike Mouth just or Spike Mouth just keeps getting worse and worse. And Pierce, all Pierce says, is, don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challenges. We thought if we could stop the other challenges from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that the increase of chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. <sighs> There's no way to help someone at all. Seeker, no need to bother with the pe with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Okay. Thanks, my- Oh my word! Look at they're just surrounding him! <laughs> Alright, thanks Marnie for dealing with those punks. <laughs> Jeez, look at them all! Oh gosh, there he is, Piers. Oh, I'm singing! Hi! I love Team Yell! The Skulls and things, neon signs, red and black colors, funny hairstyles, punk, punk stuff. I'm a gym leader, my name is Piers. Oh, oh, you're finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm not a great gym leader. Figure that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. <laughs> I have good ears, so I've ever heard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium, we can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. <laughs> they just all get out of the way, the Toxel's like, <laughs> wait! <laughs> They're all hiding behind a gate. Alright, is this it? We're just going? Now then... Yeah, he's gonna go crazy. I'm the gym leader of Spike Moth! Pierce, the dark type user! You wanna challenge me even though you know you'll lose? This song's for you, foolish trainer! Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party! Spike Moth, it's time to rock! Oh my goodness. <gasps> he's got freaking team yells. No. Oh, he's, got a, he's got his own theme. That's cool. Isn't it like a mix between the gym leader and team yell? Scrappy coming out first. Good thing too, because I have soft right here, ready to die immediately. So. <laughs> Everyone, cheer my on my Pokemon! Let's do it! Scrafty, intimidate the opponent! I'm so stupid, it actually has intimidate. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you're gonna outspeed and kill me with a crunch. So I know knowing that you're gonna go for a crunch, I can switch right out in a jam wing. Easily. Because I wanted soft to I want soft to do something. Soft is so good offensively, but it can't outspeed. And that's why she's trash right now. Uh, she'll be good later. I just wish I had a choice scarf. Sand attack? Are you serious? Uh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna. Come on, don't miss. Jamwing, focus. Good. Good job, Jamwing. You focused. But that didn't kill. That didn't kill. Wow. Okay. Um, Jamwing, focus again. Don't. Don't you do it. Don't you miss. Good. Wait a second. Don't I have keen? Oh, I used to have keen eye. That's what I used to have. My actually can be lowered now because I'm not keen eye anymore. Honestly, I would like to have keen eye over pressure. <laughs> I hate sand attack. Very odd that a gym leader, the seventh gym leader, is using sand attack. Malamar. Okay, that's dark psychic, meaning that soft could do something. But <laughs> professor can one shot with a struggle bug. Can you please learn bug buzz already? My goodness. I like how the team, uh, not team skull, well, team skull, team yell are just kind of sitting behind the fence, and then like they just kind of disappear. Like we can't see them. Malamar's gonna mess you up with his contrary ability. Yeah, I go for superpower. I already know. This is why I brought out Professor because I was scared of superpower and the contrary. Contrary is very scary, very very scary. Whew. Especially contrary superior is the scariest thing of all time. It really is. Because you can really do that to like sweep anything. Obstagoon. He has Obstagoon. Okay. It's probably really fast. It's probably really, really fast. So, Bunko's the only one who can tank a hit from it. Because freaking Professor will probably die to a Dark type move. And it's probably going to use like Crunch or something really powerful. Obstagoon. There it is. Cross your arms right now. 
Yeah, there it is. Time to meet another member of my crew! Face the proud high roar of my Obstagoon! <laughs> 46, okay. Die. I'm faster! <laughs> oh. What? Oh! <gasps> My jaws dropped. He's a tank. He knew. He freaking knew. That's actually really cool. I wonder, does Obstagoon sacrifice? Does it? Does it sacrifice um HP? Or does it sacrifice speed for defense? It might. This we have to remember this is also a Galarian Obstagoon. Here's a number I'd save just for this! You lot in the stands better cheer me on! Throat chop. Uh, okay, that, that did a decent amount of damage. Okay, uh, Bunko, unfortunately, you have to go down. What? Why? Why is it faster? Why is it? Oh, because counter. It is faster. Uh, why did that? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Piers. I'm sorry, that was mean. I didn't mean to crit you. You totally did not deserve to get critted right there. You totally deserve to counter and kill me right there, or throat chop again, or whatever. Actually, if we went for counter again. Bunko wants to learn Crunch, yes. Thank goodness, get rid of Bite. Oh my goodness, now if I just learn like a really powerful fire type move, uh, like a, fl uh, not Flare Blitz, just a powerful, maybe maybe um Fire Fang, that could do it. Fire Fang would be decent. Um, Skun Tank. Okay, this is your ace. So Poison, uh, no, Soft can't come in. Ground, it's only weak to ground. I don't have any ground moves, so... Um... Let's go, Bunko. Bunko! I don't do encores, get it? Not songs, not moves, not Pokemon! <laughs> Alright, send out the Skun Tank. It's probably gonna go for what? Sludge Bomb? <laughs> Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Go, Stun Tank! Use your Sucker Punch and Toxic! Okay. Uh, as I thought, he was gonna use moves like that. So, I'm gonna go Leech Life. I outspeed. I see. So he's probably going to go for Toxic. And if you don't go for Sucker Punch, you are dead. Sorry. Um, yeah, Toxic. He's going to go for the Toxic, but this is his last Mon. Meaning, I think we got it. Unless somehow his Sucker Punch does like a ton of damage. Because this will leave me at like, what, 110? 109. Yeah, because it's a, the Toxic the first turn is kind of pathetic. It only does 6%. Yeah, there's the Sucker Lunch. And yeah, we got it. We got it. Good job, Bunko. You came in clutch here right at the end. Very, very good job, Bunko. I need a Dynamax Bunko sometime. Aftermath. There's no point. <laughs> I, I even knew that was coming too, but Leech Life. Leech Life had our back. Jeez, Bunko is really good. Having a strong, adamant nature with that Leech Life, get, getting all that HP back is so good. There we go. We got you, Piers. <laughs> we both go like down and up. Ooh! Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Yeah, we got you, Piers. Good battle nonetheless. I love this background music. I swear, it's so good. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Hmm. Now let me just, like, with my really bad posture, just keep walking over to you. Ugh. Hey, here's your dark badge. You can take it and leave. They're all crying in the background like, no! Oh, uh, no. There we go. Now it's just the dragon one left. Thinking about dragon, we don't have any dragon type. Anything that we don't have any ice moves. Level 55. Look at his freaking eyes. I didn't even notice how big they were. Uh, here's a uniform too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that'd be a good thing you can do. My little sister. Yeah, it is. Marnie. It is his little sister. My little sister's Marnie is gonna challenge me next. I bet. Oh, that was actually kind of sweet. So you're watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. I uh, It's how I learned how to battle and all that. Oh, same. So she's like the same as a hop, watching her older brother. That right? That reminds me, Marnie. There's something I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Mouth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you'd become a really great gym uh, leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you. <laughs> My answer is a big fat no. I mean... When I end up becoming the champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. 
In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to become a champion. Hey Seeker, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Ah, uh, sure. I uh, just don't let Team uh, freaking Skull. Why do I call them Skull? Because they're both they're both punks. They're both punks. That's why. Don't let Team Skull. Or, team Skull. Team Yell. Team Yell. <laughs> don't let Team Yell distract you. <laughs> you seriously beat Piers here. Here's a T on the. Remember this moment. Snarl. No. Stop with the bad TMs. Please. Give me like freaking Dark Pulse or something. Um. Hey. There's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, the... That's right. Oh, hey, you gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should have a head over there to come, then, to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Uh, thank you, default NPC. What the heck's happening over here? Kaboom. More of these tremors. Leon, what's going on? Seeker, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll... Uh, noise? Noise, I'll see to it. With my Chara Smash. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym's leader, Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. Uh-huh. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion here is to look er, is here to look after things and keep you all safe. <laughs> She's just still smiling while it's just blowing up in the background. Uh, I should get going. <laughs> So what? Where is that coming from? That came from the tunnel. Tunnel. Tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time! <laughs> uh, I feel like I, I kind of want to follow him. Yeah, oh, jeez. I don't want to fight these two. I'll, I'll battle them in a double battle. I, I, I'll do it. Scope lens. Uh, critical hit. I don't need that right now. All right, let's do a double battle before we go and face off against uh, whatever's in that tunnel. Sing, dance, let's make this party hall. <laughs> if I dance, I shine. My Pokemon shines brighter too. All right, you guys are dancers, I'm assuming. All right, well, music crew Owen and Andrea, I can easily deal with you guys. Uh, Tox Trinity? Oh, now that's the evolved form. Whoa, he actually looks kind of cool. Toxic, uh, Toxel. It's the evolved form of the Toxel, that's what it is. So it's a poison, we have grass, and then poison electric. So, um, Dazzling Gleam hits both opponents. Let's do that. Hopefully he'll go for slippers. Actually, Maractus. I can I can probably kill Maractus. Come on. U-turn. I'm hoping. No, I can't. He'll, no, he'll go for an electric type move on Slippers. So I can't switch out into Corviknight. So I should switch out into... Um... Professor? I'm thinking Professor. Um, and then hopefully a Dazzling Gleam will come out here soon. Toxic. And of course, you're you going for poor Soft. Why does everyone want to kill Soft? Soft is so soft. Stop beating up Soft. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam, here we go. This should take out Maractus. There we go. Uh, not very good on the Tox Trick 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 What is it actually pronounced as? I gotta like look at these Pokemon names. Okay, Soft. You're probably gonna have to come back, unfortunately. Well, you do have Psychic. Tox Trick Trox Trox Tox Tricity. Tox Tricity. All right, we'll Psybeam. Toxtricity, and then uh, hopefully Psychic will come out first. There we go, you're dead. You're dead, unless you have a lot of Spideff. Which you don't! <laughs> there we go, we got him. That wasn't too tough, but I was glad I ran into Toxtricity or whatever. There we go, Spook Pal getting level 43. Are you gonna level up, please? <laughs> you look cute, I kinda wanna level you up. Oh, if Pokemon moves are mixed in too, we'll have an amazing vibe. You drop your microphone. Ah, dancing is the best way to stay healthy. Oh. Well, I'm not very good at dancing, so am I not healthy? Oh. Um. Okay. Soft? You're evolving? I kind of wanted a uh, freaking spook pal to evolve, but what are you going to evolve into? Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like just a little... What? It's a witch thing. It's cute. Does it learn any new moves? Hatter ha Hatterene. Uh, it emits psychic power strong enough to cause headaches as a deterrent to approach or to, to the approach of others. I see. Wow, it's tall. It's almost seven feet. Psychic fairy too. Psycho. Psycho cut. That's physical. That's physical. Why? Why? Learn psychic. Learn psychic. I don't want to think about it. Okay. 
So what the heck? Route 9 tunnel? Leon? You What's all this crazy things taking? Leon? What move move! What the frick? <laughs> it's a puzzle to get out of here. Uh why is there a wild dyna wild dynamax Pokemon? What? Hop? <laughs> There's syrup. <laughs> Seeker! Uh you doing okay? How'd you get here? This is mad! You know what I mean! Uh where's Leon? Uh, <laughs> that's what I'd like to know. That noise, it was like some massive explosion. There was this huge surge of red light, and then the wild Pokemon just started dynamaxing around me, brazen as you like. Uh-huh. Oh, take a look at the news. A Gigantamax per Meowth Persian, Galarian Persian thing. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? I guess so. Lee and his Char Smash took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Yeah, I'm more impressed with the news team able to make a report within like 60 seconds. Let's go meet up with him, Seeker. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. All right, all right. Calm down, Hop. <laughs> he just didn't even want to battle. I'll fight him. I'll fight him. I'll give you the chance. I see a little TM back there now. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. All right, sure. Uh, but I kind of want to do some more plot when you're getting in my way, gentleman Caden. It's very gentlemanly of you getting in my way. Whatever. Dewblade? Okay, I'm kind of glad that Dewblade's in. Aegislash is gonna is gonna be a more scary competitive stuff. All right, let's see. Soft, soft. Ah, <sighs> you're you're a fairy type now. You're a fairy type now. I can't I can't have you go up against this because you're a freaking fairy type now. Soft, I want to use you, but you just suck. You suck at everything. On the bright side, Dark won't kill you instantly. Yeah, Iron Head, that would have wiped Soft off the screen instantly. It would be so far gone, it wouldn't even be funny. All right, this better one shot. No, it's defensive. Yeah. I mean, Crunch, would Crunch have done more? No, not with Stab. Oh my gosh. Forgot that you can learn Aerial Ace. I like the Aerial Ace animation. Looks very cool. There we go, Flame Wheel. You're gone, Dewblade. Get the frick out of here. Whew. All right, is that, was that your only Pokemon? I think it was. Nope, you have a Simeon. That is just fighting, right? <gasps> if it's just fighting, Soft has a chance! Wait, no, it probably has freaking knockoff. See, that's the thing. All fighting types have can have like some psychic liability uh, to deal with them if they have knockoff. But that's the thing. Most psychic types are faster than fighting types, but no, Soft is slow. So this is probably won't even kill. Wait, why did I do it? Double edge, that's gonna kill. It didn't, yay. All right, this probably won't kill. I should have gone for Dazzling Gleam. This won't kill. It killed! Good job, Soft! Okay, maybe your, like, special attack is super high, but you just die to, like... Or you get outsped by, like, everything. I'm so excited to use Soft some more. I want... You have more Pokemon? Gentlemen, jeez, you're wasting my time, dude! Poltergeist. Wait, you have the... That's the evolved form of... Spook Pal! How did you get that? I need you to teach me how you got that. Bruh. I want a Poltergeist or whatever. How do I evolve it? Alright, Bunko. Come out here and just crunch this thing away. I'm sure you can one-shot it. Considering how weak Spook Pal is. There we go. Poltergeist. Crunch and get it out of here. It's dead. Sucker Punch. Jeez. I need all these things to have Sucker Lunch. Alright, Crunch, you're dead. Yeah, you were, I didn't even think you were gonna live for one second. <laughs> Critical hit. I'm just, I'm just eating the tea, eating the teapot, and then leaving the ghost to just kind of die, I guess. There we go. Bunko level 47. None of us are level 50 yet, but we're getting up there. Oh, oh see exactly as I thought. Uh huh. Ah, another useless TM. Yeah, I love useless TMs. <laughs> There's just a Galvantula walking around. My goodness. I want to catch a Galvantula. I love Galvantula so much. I used it in White 2, and oh my goodness, when I was going up against Neoplasma, all I had to do was Signal Beam, and everything was dead. I know we have to fight Raihan here, but uh, are we just going to go fight him now? Oh, there's everybody. Hey, Hop. Hey, Sonya. Hey, Leon. Over here! Yeah, how you doing, uh, Hop? Well, if it isn't Seeker. Yeah. Look at Leon smile. He's like, yee! I expect, I expect nothing less from you and your Char Smash, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what's what is all what's all going on here? 
An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time, and we have no way of knowing. Uh, being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Ah, there we go, our Magnolia. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know about all the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Not uh, nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. That's right, I need you to do everything for me. Put your glasses on, it makes you smarter. You know more <laughs> anyone you know more than anyone about the darkest day after all. Are you saying that red light and the darkest day are connected? Uh, hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Uh, there must be. I mean, considering we have a decent amount of gym badges, so... <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But, uh, my Char Smash will overpower you two. I literally flare blitz and knock you two out of the park. But all I could ever ask uh, out of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to, uh, and make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, man. I'm starting to pick up more evil lives from Leon, maybe it's just me? I thought he was evil from the very start, but it's just me. Uh, Gran, there's something I want to look into, you'll help me, right? Naturally. Alright, there they go. Um, Leon, how you doing? Looks like we all know what we need to do, so you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. And off I go, I'm sprinting, I'm still sprinting! I know what I need to do, alright, defeat that Piers once and for all! You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Seeker? Raihan's a tough nut to crack! Oh boy, Raihan. Yep. Gonna have to go face him, the final gym leader. Alright, well, I think I'm ready. Hey, this is the final gym? Yeah, I think I'm ready for it. It's Maybe it's just me. This won't be easy, but it won't be too difficult, I don't think, so... I don't know. The long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the dragon user Raihan? You bet I am. In that case, please use the changing room to change into your uniform. Here we go. <laughs> Here I come, in my uniform, 337. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where the uh, all, where all gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. The vault? Why would I go to the vault? Oh, uh, wait a sec. Now I think about it. Those stairs. I've been staring at this dragon thing. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, how many gym challenges are left? Uh, not, not even ten, huh? <laughs> Alright then. Seeger, uh, time to explain the great Raihan's gym mission. Hey, uh, the rules are simple. All I've gotta do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Uh, gym challenge is meant to be, uh, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. Yeah, con considering, uh, cause I'm the one, uh, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I provide a format where you can really show off your brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. Yeah, just make sure you don't uh, damage tap trees or whatever, because uh, they're like $5,000, so if you have to do that, you gotta pay up, kid. <laughs> That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. I'll see you later, kid. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Get on up here. Also, you said three. Where are they? Where's the third one? Yeah, That's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, the dragon tights are ferocious and powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully use eyes that power. Okay. I'll double battle time. Here we go. Challenged by Gym Trainer Sebastian. Alright. I guess we're already starting. <laughs> Pelipper and Sligu. Hey, you two. So, why a Pelipper? Um, why a Pelipper? That's not Dragon type. Uh, the Drizzle. Oh, does the freaking Sligu have a. Oh, it might he like heal HP in the rain or something. Okay. Ooh, they're relatively tough. Okay. Um,. Who's a bigger threat? Probably the Sligu. Slippers, don't doze off now. Um, Sucker Punch? No. I don't think, can, does Sligu have Water Absorb? No, it doesn't, it has like Grass Absorb. I'm gonna go for Snipe Shot. It's not very effective, but it's Stab, and it'll do a decent amount, right? Come on, it's in the rain. Yeah, I knew it would do a decent amount. Then Drill Peck should finish it off. Yeah, there we go, Sligu's gone. I think as long as we double up on these double battles, we should be fine for the most part. 
Yeah, 49. Gosh, we're almost level 50. Tail... Tailwind? Tailwind? Pathetic, dude. Pathetic. Drill pack. And then do the same thing. Snipe shot, drill pack. That should that should take it out. And we, we out... Oh, he doesn't out... He probably won't outspeed. Um, jam wing it. Probably won't outspeed Pelipper because of the tail. Wow. Uh, don't... Good job, Slippers. It wouldn't even matter because you used on Slippers anyway. <laughs> Oh, Pelipper, you are not made for this world. You are just a toilet bird, and that's all you will ever be. Sorry, it's the truth. <laughs> just be really mean to it. Oh, doubles, there's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. Yeah, it sure does, Sebastian. Oh, there's the third one. Okay, I can see why you've managed to make it this far. All right, bye. OXO. <laughs> all right, next up. Uh, time to face the second trainer. Uh, come on, Camilla. <laughs> Camilla? Uh, all right. Hi. I'm not gonna say anything. Oh. Oh, I get to choose one. Okay. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. I see. So, you have... It seems like two of them... Or, like, not two of them. It seems like, um... They have support mons. And then, like, one main mon. So, Ninetales and Turtonator. Turtonator seems like the support... Well, actually, no. Either one of these could be the support mon. Either way... Nine tails? No, it's the support mine is nine tails. Drot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So how I can tell is because the dragon type is probably the one that they're trying to focus on. So nine tails is probably the support unit. So I should know. I have to hit the nine tails just in case because the drot might uh, make it harder for. What the heck was that? Shell trap. Well, I'm glad I didn't go after you. Oh shoot! Actually, if this kills, I might. Uh, don't kill. <laughs> wow, drought. There's a lot. Oh, no. No. Ah, oh, hate burn. Now it won't kill. It killed? Okay. Wow. Uh, I didn't think that would work. Uh, so... Shell trap. Shell trap didn't work. Yeah, that's fine. Um... So, I feel like I want to switch Jamwing off here, because it has it's a fire move. It, it can have fire moves. So, I'll switch in Bunko, and then I'll go for Snipe Shot. Two Snipe Shots, and then some other move should be able to kill Turtonator. And I think Shell Trap only works on physical attacking moves, if I'm correct. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's correct. Yeah, he's going for Shell Trap again, but I don't think it should work on special attacking moves. Here we go. Just think. There we go. Shell trap. Didn't work, as I thought. So we can go for crunch and then snipe shot, and that then we should be good. I think so. Snipe shot. Put the water straight through the head. Boom. Dead. Not, not really dead. Okay, come on. They didn't even use shell trap. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that. There we go, it's dead. Whew, that wasn't too difficult. Just the burn from the nine tails was kind of annoying, but it really wasn't that annoying because I was able to kill. If it like would have left it on like one HP, I would have been a little bit upset, but we got it. All right, thanks for the fight, Camilla. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Uh, yeah, I actually agree with that. Fantastic. I can see you. Those seven badges you earned have or have uh, those bad. Yep, you've earned them. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh boy. And the third one. Uh, you've made it to the third and last trainer. Uh, your moment to shine, Arya. Okay. Are you, like, the strongest of each of them? Let me guess. You probably have more than two, don't you? Okay. Um, well, I think I'm going to save Arya and Raihan for the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode when hopefully we get our final gym badge, and then maybe some plot's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Usually it happens after the seventh gym, which is kind of odd, but so far we haven't seen any evil team besides Yell. It's just been Yell. But now that's been resolved, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's Leon. Maybe I was right that it was Leon the whole time. I don't know. Or maybe even Chairman Rose. Who knows? But we'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.